So what do they do if you're calving in February, March, January, February, March? The best thing to do, the best situation is to build an expensive facility that you can keep those cattle inside. If, if you're gonna, if you already have a barn or something like that, a lot of these guys were, used to be hog farmers and the hog markets, the hog markets crashed, so they just, or hoop buildings or whatever. Everybody's trying to get their cattle inside to get them calving. Folks, you don't have to do that. You can calve them right out here on green grass. Uh, the sheep are the same way. I used to calve my sheep in a barn I killed three quarters of them. Uh, we had two inch hail one day and uh, just, it's just a horrible experience. And I, I've had some really bad train wrecks and I want to share this so that you don't have those same train wrecks. Uh, so calve them when they can't or have, just match your cycle to nature. It just makes everything work easier. The animals come out healthier. They're, they're ready to go if you're, the temperatures are gonna be better. They're gonna grow faster. The cows are gonna be cheaper to maintain. Uh, they're gonna be, uh, you know, more vigorous out in the sunshine. Just something about sunshine. My dad used to say, you know, we're solar powered. And I think there's a lot to that. Uh, so calving on green grass and sunshine just makes sense. It's a lot less capital intensive. Building those barns, using the tractors, the skid loaders, all the other things that we have to do to put out that feed that we had to purchase and had to sell more calves and work off farm and keep our wives in town. I do that, but uh, you know, we're working towards it. So it, all these things add up and being able to do it out on green grass to me as a grass farmer is just the cheapest, most efficient way to do it.